back to Carajo Plans. I am finally back making a plan with me. Um, it's been a couple weeks. Um, lots of stuff kind of going on at home with the kids and just overwhelmed and needed to take a step back from something. So the something that I had to take a step back from was making YouTube videos and the plan with me videos kind of went first. Um, I took a few weeks where I did my planner spreads and I'll show them to you guys. Um, I don't remember the last one I showed you, whether I showed you this one in March or not. Um, I took the time when I was doing my planner spreads to just really enjoy it and just take my time with it um, and not film it. It, it just um, needed to be a stress reliever for me. This kit from Life in Envelopes was absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors in this one. Um, this pattern's really pretty. So I just kind of, this one too, super cute. I just took my time and planned on my own, no videotaping it, and it was it was very relaxing for me again. And I think I had gotten to a point where planning was something that I had to do and I had to film, and that stressed me out. And then here's my Easter spread. Um, so taking a few weeks off of that, this week, I'm, it's Tuesday the 30th, I'm kind of planning ahead now, I want to plan... I want to pre-plan just to get some stuff ahead and done. Another thing that's changing, I'm not doing last minute stuff anymore. Um, but I am excited to be back. I love planning with you guys and on film for you guys to see my process. Um, just needed a little bit of a break. So I am back to do some plan with me. So we're going to start, this is the first full week of April. I'm going to be doing April 5th through the 11th um, and this kit is also a life and envelopes kit specially made for the budget mom workbooks um, I think I used the budget one in the planner and the planner one in the budget book but gorgeous either way I got them mixed up and didn't realize until I was done so this is actually this is the right sticker here this month's projects I like that um, I'm probably posting this on April 3rd, so this weekend is the Planning Artisan Sale. Please make sure to pick, check that out. They have a Facebook group that'll have links to all the shops participating, all the great discounts. Um, I want to say like between 20 and 40, 50% discounts in all the shops, freebies, all kinds of fun stuff. My shop is participating and I am offering a great discount. So be sure to check that out along with the new releases that I posted yesterday. So let's get to planning this week. Um, one of the new releases is this teal and yellow kit, and I thought that I would use this one here for the first week of April. It's still kind of darker, wintry, but it's got the bright colors too, so I think you could really use this in any season. And this is the one that I wanted to try to use for you guys today. So I've already pre-planned some of my script stickers on here. So we're gonna get started with the date headers first. I like to put those down first. And what's nice about these kits that I designed is, yeah, they're primarily made for a five by or a seven by nine planner, but I make them work in the bigger planners too, and it, it works out really well. So I really enjoy that. The only thing that is a little short sometimes is the washi strips, which is really fine because I use them primarily for like my work week, and the, for that they're long enough. But if you have a regular seven by nine planner, my washi is fit perfect for it. It's just this bigger planner that I have that it doesn't really work for. And um, moving into month four of this Live Rich Planner, while I love the idea of it, it's it's really not functioning the way that I want it to. Um, so I've kind of been doing some soul searching. I bought a Happy Planner in the Happy Planner Spring Release. It's a vertical. It doesn't start till July. Um, and I'm waiting for the Erin Condren release of her new life planners for this year, kind of to decide where I want to go. Um, I don't think I want to go back to a daily duo. I think just having the full work day and then those being so timed and it just really wasn't working out for me. I think, I th really think I might go back to an hourly in the life planner or if I go with happy planner I have the vertical layout which I really am liking as well I think a lot of me is just letting go of the times I don't 
I work nine to five every day. So if I mark off the times based on what I'm doing, a lot of my planner is just blank with work because I don't write work tasks in here because it's all computerized. So I'm kind of leaning towards a more vertical layout um, just to have an, uh, more room for like my home tasks and not to have such a blank unused space um, while I'm at work. So we'll see. All right, so let's do, let's do my work washi first. And I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the dark daisies up at the top. And what's really nice about this washi is it fits perfectly in the half hour slots on this planner as well. Um, so like I said, a lot of these kits are really versatile no matter what planner you have. I tried to make it so that it would work. Nothing's like really personalized to any specific planner. And you can see that I'm using it in one of the Budget Mom planners. Um, I just wanted to make a kit that as many people as possible could use and find functional pieces in it as well as some of the decorative stuff. So, as always, and I mentioned this yesterday in the new release video, if there's a type of sticker I'm missing or you wish was in the kit or you have any suggestions for the types of stickers I include in the kit, please let me know. I am, I am only one person and my planning style is not that sophisticated. So I kind of like got ideas from others. Uh, on what kinds of stickers I wanted to include and I tried to include things that I use as well as other people and um, one of the things I really like to include a lot of are the event boxes so there is a full sheet of event boxes there's some smaller ones on the full box page so I try to include a lot of those because I like pretty much everything that I put in my planner to be on a sticker as far as like wording and that goes um, so I include a lot of those. Uh, the full boxes, I know there's a lot of people that love no white space, so they really like filling everything up with the full boxes. And I found in this planner, like, I can use all the full boxes and still have plenty of white space because this 8.5 by planner, 8.5 by 11 planner is so big. Um, so that's where, like, me using some of the full boxes has kind of come in just because there was so much blank space. And I've learned to love the full boxes. Before I got this planner and stuff, I really wasn't using full boxes. I wouldn't even buy the full box sheets from the shops that I was shopping in. So my planning style is changing just a little bit. And then I think on the weekend, I'm gonna use this thicker washi. I think it's so adorable. This is this print. Oh my gosh, this one's killing me. I'm gonna do this and mark off my weekend. Um. Where do I want to do it though? So if I do just a full box for decorations, okay. So if I do it like here, watch this. Okay, so we're gonna put one here. And then I'm going to put the other one down at the bottom corner here. Like this. Like that. And then we're going to put the weekend sticker on the top washi here. And then let's see, we'll kind of start wiggling some stuff in here. So church will go here. Uh, we'll put it there. Church will go there. And da, 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 da. where's family time? Family time's gonna come in under church here. Okay. 
Okay. And then I did a fun Friday. I'm going to commit to spending the evening with the kids doing something fun and not working. So we're going to put fun Friday down here. Maybe a little bit of work. And then we'll watch a movie or do something fun outside or we'll go to the park, depending on the weather. All right, there's that. And then let's see. I love this full box. Oh my gosh, look at this print. It is so gorgeous. So I think I'm going to put this one up here. And then I think I'll use this yellow, no, this yellow one on Saturday. That, perfect. And then, mm -mm -mm -mm. all right, let's start back at the beginning of the work week now. So the kids are off of school on their Easter break Monday and Tuesday. And then let's see. Let's do my meal stickers before I start filling stuff up and they get lost. So another fun announcement, I was inspired by Stephanie over at Planning to Prosper. She started doing Weight Watchers again, I want to say in January. And I have just been so inspired by her progress and what she has shared on her journey on YouTube. So I have decided that I too am going to do Weight Watchers again. I have started and stopped Weight Watchers several times in my life. I will not say I failed, but I did stop working the program because I firmly believe their program works. I've seen it work in myself. I lost 27 pounds using it in 2007. Um, but it is something that you have to be ready for and you have to be committed to because it is a lifestyle change. It's not just a quick fix. You have to be committed to sticking with the changes that you're making and holding yourself accountable. And for a long time, I just wasn't ready. Um, but over the past couple months, um, moving forward in my debt journey and just kind of like life changes um, with the divorce and everything, I, I am ready. I'm ready to commit to getting myself healthier with my food and activity. So I will be starting up Weight Watchers again. This is my first week so far. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, this is my first week so far. So I don't have any weigh-ins or any progress yet, but I'm definitely getting back into the rhythm of things and so far so good. So if you guys want, I will keep you updated on that as I go along and the progress that I make. Only if you guys want to, though, so definitely let me know if that's something that you're interested in following along with, and I'll be sure to include that in some of my videos and updates and maybe on Instagram as well. I'm just kind of laying down some of these stickers that I already put the script stickers on. I thought that would be a lot faster than me flipping through all my script books. Um, I've just kind of pre-planned the stickers here. So there's that. I'll just kind of figure out where they go. All right. Just trying to think which days of the week I'll be washing my hair this week. I'm trying to think ahead and count because I usually wash my hair every three days for the most part. So let's see. Be Tuesday morning. 
and then probably I would say probably Thursday night I think yeah Thursday night and Saturday night okay so there's wash hair all right and then on Saturday Another thing that I am doing is committing to get my housework done before I let myself work on carriage plans. Um, because if I don't, that could be a rabbit hole I fall into the whole day. So I wanna get my laundry and all of that started and done before I dive into this on Saturday. And hopefully, depending on the weather, I can get this done early enough that we can head to the park or something for a little bit as well. So that is on there. And then in the evenings, um, because this planning artisan sale is going on through Monday, I do want to put Etsy as a priority on Monday and um, Tuesday. I think we'll do it this way. To make sure I have restocks, fill orders, whatever I need to do for the sale. So those two slots will be Etsy work for sure. And then on Tuesday, I can probably get some other stuff done, maybe YouTube or Instagram, something. Then we'll put this one here. And then Instagram. I want to work on that some on Wednesday. And then I want to do some YouTube on Thursday. Okay, so that's all planned out. I still have, look, I still have tons of event stickers. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's do... Um, the last few little script stickers that I usually put on here. I need my work stickers. I don't know why I didn't pull these ones out earlier. Probably because I didn't have any stickers to stick them on. That would probably be my guess why I didn't do that. So yeah. All right, last two work stickers. One and two. Okay, so those are there. That's done. And then let's see what other stickers I need here from this little book that has a lot of my Once More With Love and Coffee Monsters Co. stickers in it. Drop off and pick up. I think I will use yellow. So one there. Need to do hold this phone hold this thought I need to put my stickers up for my videos and I'm shooting for four videos this week um, we'll see how it goes Okay, so those are there. Um, and then the full boxes. So let's see how we're gonna put the full boxes on here. Let's do Monday. Tuesday. And then 
Thursday and Friday. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to put one of these check boxes because that's usually a day I can get some extra stuff done because the kids aren't home. So we'll try that. And then we'll do a little check box on Monday and a little check box on Thursday. And then this habit tracker, I think I'm going to use over here somewhere. I don't know where. Do I wanna use this? I don't know, I don't know what I would track. I never track anything. But I am going to use this Monday through Sunday sticker. Um, I think I'm gonna use it to track my lunches. We'll see. So I'm gonna put it right up here where this workout box is that I am never going to use. Okay, back to cutesy stickers. Um, let's see. I have an icon for garbage day. So let's do that one. And then I'm gonna put this home sticker here to remind me to get my home stuff done before I play with Carajo plans. And I'm just going to put this dot down here to remind me to fold laundry. And I'm gonna put this dot on Monday morning to remind me to start the dishwasher. And I think we'll put a coffee cup on Friday to celebrate the weekend. Okay, so that's that for now. Okay, now back to these cutesy stickers. All right, what do we need here? No lunch, no drive through McDonald's this week. I don't know if we're gonna do a movie night. That all depends on the weather this time of year. I like to go out and um, spend time outside. So I don't think I'm using any of these. So this is pretty much my layout for the week. There are some plans on here. Some of these tasks and chores will wait till like closer to the beginning of the week when I know where I am with this week. But I really like how this kit turned out in the larger planner. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm loving the colors in it, it's super fun. I probably will put some something over in the sidebar. I might go look for some Happy Planner stickers, like a quote sticker or something that matches these colors. Um, stay tuned on Instagram, see if I find anything. And thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time, bye. <music>